closed for business. The US federal government shutdown is costing the country millions of dollars each day, at least 400 million, according to the US market analysis firm IHS. But it's also leading to frustration from tourists and museum workers in the capital, Washington. All Smithsonian institutions, museums and zoos have been forced to close since midnight on Tuesday. I think it's sad, very sad. That's how I feel. I think it's time to get back to work and uh, put the government back in action. The jobs of nearly 800,000 government employees are on hold due to the shutdown. The Department of Justice has halted all major cases and some non-core departments like the Department of Agriculture are nearly completely stalled. But it's not just Americans that are suffering. Chinese tourists in the United States are feeling at a loss after a total of 401 tourist sites have closed. This includes some of America's most visited tourist attractions that are funded federally, including the Statue of Liberty. Tourism agencies are trying to cope with the situation, many seeking to negotiate with their partners in the United States to get refunds for their customers. For those who haven't already left, they are considering changing destination. Meanwhile, in Washington, Republicans show no sign of moving towards resolving the budget issue, and it seems like there is no end in sight to the political stalemate.